Wishing Stone, uh, written by Steve Smallman and illustrated by Rebecca Elliott. Armadillo lived in the swamp. He was lonely and wished that he could find a friend. But whenever anyone came near him, he would roll himself up into a ball and keep very still until they went away. What shall we play today? squeaked Mouse. Hide and seek? No, I always lose, grumbled Flamingo. I know, what a fight, shouted Monkey. And he pushed Flamingo into the swamp and jumped in after her. Mouse couldn't swim, so he sat down grumpily on a funny looking stone. I wish I had a paddling pool so I could play too, he said quietly. That night, Armadillo set to work. Using his strong claws, he dug a wide hole and filled it with water. Then, tired out, he rolled into a ball and went to sleep. A paddling pool, squeaked Mouse excitedly the next morning. My wish came true. The stone must be magic. Let me try, said Flamingo, sitting on the stone. I wish we had a secret den, she said. You'll have to wait until tomorrow for it to work said Mouse. That night, Armadillo worked hard. He cut down branches and collected leaves, and by the time the sun started to rise, he'd made a wonderful secret den. Tired out, he rolled into a ball and went to sleep. The wishing stone worked, squeaked Flamingo the next day, climbing inside the secret den. My turn, cried Monkey, sitting on the stone. I wish there was some food in here. That's a stupid wish, said Flamingo. Not if you're hungry, said Monkey. But you have to wait until tomorrow for it to work, silly, said Mouse. Armadillo liked to eat bugs. So that night he dug a hole inside the den, lined it with leaves and filled it with all the tastiest looking bugs he could find. Then, tired out, he rolled into a ball and went to sleep. Yuck! Monkey, Flamingo and Mouse didn't like bugs. That wishing stone is useless, shouted Monkey and kicked it towards the deepest part of the swamp. Help! Oh my gosh, the mouse went in the water. Help! cried Armadillo. I, as he rolled faster and faster, I can't swim! Splash! The wishing stone talks, gasped Mouse. And it can't swim? Monkey found a big stick and pushed it into the water. Armadillo grabbed it and the three friends pulled with all their strength until... Blop! Out came Armadillo, soggy and gasping for breath. Did you make my paddling pool? asked Mouse. And our den? asked Flamingo. Armadillo nodded. What about the bugs? asked Monkey. They're my favourite, sniffed Armadillo. I thought you'd like them too. Thank you, you're very kind, they replied, smiling. Mouse Flamingo, Monkey and Armadillo soon became firm friends. With Monkey's help, Armadillo learned to swim. He even let Mouse ride on his back in the deep end. Maybe wishes do come true, Armadillo thought happily. The end.